But we know from this book and from other books that he was a voracious reader, that he read books from the libraries of uh, associates like the Fairfaxes, that he absorbed a lot of that information and, you know, in this case, kept the book with him uh, as one, one of a, a valuable part of his library for more than 50 years. Welcome to The Secrets of Washington's Archives. In this video series celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Washington Presidential Library, we're bringing you inside the Mars Rare Books and Manuscripts Room to show you the books owned by George Washington and his family and to share the secrets possibly hidden inside. Today, to start this series, we're going to show you one of the oldest books in our collection. It's The Complete Surveyor by William Laybourne. This particular book was published in 1679. Several decades later, a 13-year-old George Washington would borrow this book from his family friend, William Fairfax, but never gave it back. Here today to perhaps discuss why Washington never returned this book is Dr. Dana Stefanelli special collections curator here at the Washington Presidential Library. He's the man responsible for all of the books, manuscripts, and maps contained inside these very rooms. So thank you so much, Dana, for joining us today. Thank you, Anne. It's my pleasure. And we have a really exciting book here today because that's not only one of the oldest books in our collections, but it's also, you know, from a Washington standpoint, a book that he was using when he was very Young. The Fairfax family was, uh, was a very important family in early America. Uh, the Fairfax, Thomas Fairfax, Lord Fairfax, was the only English peer uh, present in, in the colonial uh, period, uh, in, in the late colonial period, the 1700s. And uh, Washington uh, lived uh, nearby the Fairfax family, and Washington's older brother Lawrence married into the Fairfax family, uh, and George became very good friends with William Fairfax, the cousin of Thomas Lord Fairfax, and uh, with his son, George William Fairfax, uh, and, and had uh, a close relationship with uh, George William and his wife, Sally. For George Washington, who was sort of a, a younger son of an important family, uh, he was not uh, destined to inherit the family's estate, uh, so he had to sort of make his own way in the world and his own fortune, and surveying was a, a skilled a form of skilled labor by which someone of perhaps middling status uh, could advance themselves in society or in Washington's case make his own fortune in the world. And, and the Fairfaxes, uh, who controlled essentially about five million acres of land in Northern Virginia, uh, they were an ideal family to be connected with uh, if you were going to make a, a surveying career. And he, he's appointed surveyor of Culpeper County by the College of William and Mary, which was the the government chartered institution responsible for that sort of thing. Uh, and his first survey is in Culpeper, Culpeper County, but after that he, he goes on to other places and surveys a great deal of the, the Fairfax lands. So Washington's father passed when he was 11 years old, and other than a private tutor, Washington's formal education pretty much ended at that point. But he's borrowing this book when he turns 13, and we know that he is using other books throughout his teen years as well for education. Uh, well, we know that he was an autodidact, that he was self-taught uh, in, in most ways, uh, beyond basic reading, writing, and arithmetic, and, uh, and that he had a curious mind, that he was interested in a lot of topics. Yes, so the complete survey, or the title of course, is referring to the fact that this is a textbook, learning, teaching people how to survey or make maps. Mm -hmm. Washington is using this book as young as age 13. We know between ages 13 and 16, he's reading other books on surveying, and he becomes a surveyor at age 17. So this seems to be a pretty crucial part of his education. And this book contains marginalia. And when we, we talk about marginalia, what we mean is the writing that people put into their books that isn't printed on the pages. Now, this marginalia appears to be of mathematical exercises. Is there any way to tell if it's Washington's or not? There is some similarity uh, in some of the writing to, to George uh, Washington's other writings from this early period. Washington's writing in his younger years, these teenage years, is different from the much more familiar writing of his later adulthood. Um, and it does appear that some of it may be Washington's writing or is likely Washington's writing, and, and some of it certainly is not 
his writing. Uh, Washington did not, he did not have a reputation for writing, in, I mean he did not write in a lot of his books, which was, feeds into this reputation of him not being well learned. Uh, but, uh, but he clearly interacted with this book a lot and, and kept it with him in his library for more than 50 years. And if you want to learn more about Washington's career as a surveyor, including some of the surveys that he made that are currently held here at Mount Vernon, be sure to check out the podcast companion, The Secrets of Washington's Archives, available wherever you download your favorite podcasts.